Hey everyone, welcome back to the Guppy Garage. So today I'm going to be going through a couple of different things with you guys on how to cull guppies. It's one of the hardest things you can do in the hobby. It is also the most difficult emotionally, I think, um, as a breeder. In order to get the guppies you want, I have a very hard time culling fish. Um, and I really don't like putting any animal down unless it has to be put down for its own health. So I'm going to be going through a couple different things you want to look for uh, in order to cull the correct way. Uh, and there are some other ways that you can do it as well, but this is the way that I do it. So let's get started. So right here, we've got my male mutt tank. These are just a few of the mutt males that I've pulled from my different tanks. Um, and I've just liked a lot of these colors that come out of some of the females. Um, so as you can see, there's quite a few different variations in here. Uh, we've got a few of the uh, lava guppy types, uh, which is a line that I'm working on. And then we have some more kind of closer to a galaxy type um, guppy, but just not the color scheme that I'm going for in some of my lines. And then over here, we've got our female mutts. Uh, this is just a whole collection of females, um, mixed colors. So what I'll do is if you buy a mixed bag of mutts, you'll get some females and you'll get some males, and then you can get some really, really cool colors uh, from these guys. So there's a couple of really awesome ones in here that I actually really love. Uh, but they just don't fit what I'm going for with my lines right now. So we'll get back into culling here. So what I wanted to do was show you guys one mutt that doesn't really have the perfect genetics, and I'm not actually going to end up selling it to anybody uh, just because I don't... I didn't want to kill the fish, but I don't want to sell it to anyone. Uh, so I put him in here with the rest of the mutts because he's not going to cause any problems since he is a male in a tank with all males. So this fish right here... So as you can see, he is a little bit thinner and he has a harder time swimming. He eats fine. He's lived quite a long time. I think he's about two, two to four months old now, I would say. Um, but he just isn't hardy. He's not solid. Um, and it's not a fish that I would end up selling to anybody. Same with this guy right here. Um, same scenario not very strong. Um, he does do really well and I just can't bring myself to put a fish like that down. Then what we're looking at is the female beta tank. So this is the sorority that I've kind of built. Um, but right here, hopefully they don't eat this guppy right now while I'm talking about it. But right there, as you can see, I've got a guppy that is definitely needing to be cold. So I cold this guppy today and it has such a bent spine. I could not put it down though. Uh, my thought process was if the betas eat it, then it is food for them. Um, but I just have a hard time putting any fish down. There are a couple other guppies in here with that one. I wanted to see if I could get these females uh, to be more of like a sorority community tank um, kind of feeling. So I threw a couple guppies in here just to see what they would do and they've been doing fine. Um, but this, this guy right there um, has such a bent spine. I didn't want to put him with anybody else. Um, it is actually from a line of guppies that I've got. But in order to make that line stay strong and pure, I need to pull fish like that out. So that's something to look for as well. So right here we have the platinum blue half moon bicolors. Uh, these were a gift for my brother for Christmas. And awesome, awesome guppy. So this is where I pulled the bent spine guppy from. So as you can tell, the females have a very nice dark tail and the male right here has a very nice dark tail with an orange body, the little bit of that uh, iridescent color as well. But then we've got some of these fry with these white spots on their tails uh, or coloration on their tails. And then we have others that are completely dark tails. So what I'm going to have to do is I am going to have to go through all of these guppies and the ones that have the spots like that one, I'm going to have to pull that out and put that into the mutt tanks. So this is what you do in order to keep a line pure and in order to keep that strain going the correct way. These guppies or these fry right here that are a different color, if you let them get old enough, they will mate with the females and then it can mess up your genetic lines. So you have to be very careful when you're trying to keep lines pure. There of course are other things you should look for in guppies as well. 
Um, are these fish very strong? Are their colors brilliant enough for your line? Um, or are you just not liking the color pattern that some of your guppies are having? So the best thing to do is to keep your best, most beautiful fish and breed those. If you breed those, more than likely you will get a strong, beautiful fry. And then you can cull those fry and then mix breed those back in with the parents once you know that they are breeding the correct way that you want. This is how breeders will get to the exact color they want or the exact finish or mosaic or grass or lace or whatever kind of style of tail or patterning that they want in their fish. So this is a really hard thing to do. You have to take a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. But in the long run, it definitely pays off. So hopefully this helps you guys kind of figure out the best way in order to cull for either color and or to make sure that your line stays the strongest um, and healthiest. That's the biggest thing is the health of your fish. If you have bent spines, that can cause a lot of problems in your whole strain. And it's definitely best to pull those fish um, and put them in another tank by themselves so that they don't breed that line any further with bent spines. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any other ways that you like to cull um, or if you have any recommendations for me. I really like to hear what other people do. Uh, it's one of the, my favorite things in this hobby is hearing from other people about how they do things. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Please be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Uh -huh.